in today's video let's have a quick look at the top five blockchain projects in the telecom sector and uh, before getting into the video i just want to make sure what's the agenda for this for today's video so basically if you look at the top 10 telecom companies in the world they are valued at just the top five companies are valued at one trillion so that's how big is the market size of the telecom industry is so before valuing uh, any any asset we got to look into the size of the market and the potential users that they could attract or acquire through their products and services those are the two things we should have a look um, uh, for the analysis so from my perspective the first target is to look at the market size what's the potential market size is and who is your potential audience and who are your competitors and how much of revenue are we talking about in terms of market size the, that's a very key thing to look into for the analysis so if i look at the just the top 10 telecom companies by uh, market cap the you can see AT&T from USA is worth roughly around 204 billion. And then if you look at Verizon Communications, that's also another 243 billion. And we have Comcast Corporation, that's another 240. That's these three companies roughly is just worth 750 billion. It's not in millions, 750 billions uh, every year. And then you have China Mobile, which is um, another 117 billion. And then you have Huawei, which is worth roughly around 121 um, billion revenue. So from this, you can easily work it out. Just the top five companies are worth 1 trillion USD. So that much how big uh, they have their own market penetra penetrations. So right now, Dent is targeting is trying to evolve as a, a, a telecom company and there they are uh, trying to get a market buy of these big companies that's what i want to highlight here and the other thing that i want to highlight is um, even though dent is uh, selling e-sim products it is also a blockchain based product also all these companies that i am talking they don't have any blockchain presence at all uh, they all operate in silos. They don't have interoperability or way of uh, ma managing the uh, portal as a single unified service. They all take their profits uh, directly to their pockets. And that's that's the reason you can see all are in big numbers when it comes to turnover. So Dent is trying to break this uh, by introducing blockchain into the space. So Dent is the first uh, world's first telecom based um, blockchain project so it's not from my words it's not my words if you go and read this article which i will put it in the link later so these are the top five blockchain projects in telecom sector and that's dent is on the top you can see and they have a good article about uh, their vision and the supply of the tokens and the token metrics and everything is linked, linked here so I will leave it for you to have a read through. But a point I'm trying to make is it's one of the top five blockchain projects uh, in the telecom sector. But if you look at the other tokens, there are thousands of them. There are 8,700 cryptocurrencies. And there's tons of competitors for every token you can see. Even the top best coins you can, you, if you look like say, um, Zilliqa or uh, wet any token they all are saying oh, okay we our blockchain is the best and we have the best, fastest transaction speed okay but you have thousands of uh, hundreds of other cryptocurrencies now uh, competing with them so even uh, with that competition people are still buying zilliqa and all those uh, coins because they they are niche in the technology the same way dent is one of the very niche projects targeted towards the telecom sector and and they are now a proper telecom company as well they have their own MVNO and they provide eSIM data plan services in 80 different countries and they are planning to expand it uh, to 100 countries in the near future so it's quite uh, potentially um, 
very niche market and there's not much competitors um, for dent at the moment which is which makes it very lucrative in terms of long-term potential and another thing i want to say is if you compare uh, the different eSIM services because now dent is more focused on eSIM products and if you go to these um, websites they, they provide a very good comparison of all the different products they offer like say if you go for united states and you sort by duration and another you can see dent is pretty uniquely positioned they their plans are quite competitive and cheaper in usa than any other country so in usa their their offering is pretty good and dent tops up most of the competitors in the eSIM space in terms of providing a longer validity period so they provide a one year full uh, validity for the data plans which is pretty good actually uh, if you if you compare because we don't know uh, uh, we don't want to lose your data right so you buy it and let's uh, it allows you to hold it for one year and uh, there's another feature coming in the near future which allows you to uh, sell the excess data in their uh, platform so dent is trying to do that as well so which is pretty good uh, interesting features they are coming out in the roadmap for the next uh, couple six months and there's another website which uh, which is eSIMcomparison.com. so here also you can see different um, eSIM plans have been compared and provided a very good review so if you go look at dent um, eSIM review so there's a pretty good article um, about how to use the dent eSIM products and um, yeah i let you read through and i will try to put the link in the description as well so you, they have four different five different uh, data plan options 1 gb 3 gb um, so in, instead of offering a local service they are doing an international offering so you buy a sim plan data plan and you don't have to worry which region it's valid for it's going to work for all the 80 countries and the, it's you pay the same price tag uh, for all the data plans which which kind of makes it a very unique product uh, among all the eSIM products that are out there in the market so let's now quick have a quick look at um, how dent is positioned in the telco space so we know dent is trying to provide a unified platform for different telco assets like voice minutes data plans pop-ups and then you have eSIM data plans pretty much like any other telco is doing in the industry now um, dent have launched their own MUNO as well which is mobile virtual network operator service so now they can launch their own telco products in 80 different countries under their own dent branding uh, in 80 countries now they are establishing their brand so the dent ice we had the dents ico in july 2017 and right now it's a three-year-old company even though we say it's a three-year-old company, their eSIM offering uh, happened one year ago. So their eSIM product is pretty much a one-year-old product. But in that one year, they have achieved quite a lot of, um, made a pro progress in, remember, they are targeting, providing a, a blockchain solution as well, where you can exchange uh, the DENT token and buy mobile data. Um, so that's that's pretty unique offering compared to all the top, 10 telecom companies they all are operating in silos they don't provide interoperability and more openness they want to retain their customers through long contracts so which is becoming a uh, old style now and they have plans to expand their eSIM offering to more countries in the future so there are two business focused eSIM products from dent one of them is their product called dent teams and another one is dent gigastore let's have a quick look at what dent teams does so dent teams basically allows to pool your eSIM mobile data and share it amongst your friends and family so imagine a business could technically buy data in bulk and provision eSIM data for their employees on the go using dent teams product so that's a pretty unique offering they are doing in the market so i haven't seen uh, i've seen skype for business doing pretty much same so now uh, Dent Teams is pretty much uh, following a model of uh, Skype um, for business model. So you may remember Skype got acquired around uh, 2015, 2015 for 7 billion US dollars. That's that how much big his, uh, 
their potential and at the moment dent has acquired roughly around 26 million users if you go on um, google play store and search for dent eSIM, and you can see there's uh, pretty much more than 5 million downloads uh, for their for their um, uh, mobile app so it's getting very popular uh, in the play store as well and the other product that they're offering is something called dent giga store so dent giga store is again a business product for resellers so they have a development portal for buying data via an api so basically new MENOs can be created using the dent giga store allowing anyone to start selling mobile data on their websites clients businesses it's pretty much like dent is doing what uh, those payment gateways or do like there are tons of payment gateways right uh, paypal and then stripe verpay uh, there's quite a lot of companies so all they are doing is they are trying to act as an intermediary between um, uh, transactions uh, people who want to pay by card so it's pretty much dent is sitting as a wholesale retailer allowing uh, allowing you to allowing businesses to sell data to end users through their giga store so it's pretty much uh, an analogy of that and the, the giga store also offers a dashboard with uh, pretty cool reporting tools uh, it provides a single place to track and monetize the sale of mobile data for the resellers so it provides uh, eSIM as a service as well so that's pretty much um, they have two different business products one is dent teams and the other one is dent giga store both are targeted toward big businesses and on top of that they have enough products to target retail users as well through their mobile app so so the app is getting uh, the the platform is getting quite big as we speak so initially the platform was for targeted for retailers where retail users uh, jim and joe can come in and do their top up and buy some uh, voice minutes and uh, call internationally uh, so on top of that now they have two other products um, offering both are dent teams and dent giga store both are targeted for businesses big businesses so it's pretty much like what skype uh, business skype for business was doing so now they have two different products um, for businesses so they that they're focus of expanding their business is becoming more obvious now um, and they, they are becoming uh, quite big in size in terms of their offering so i guess uh, dent is pushing quite good uh, in the future and if you look at the just top 10 telecom companies is how big uh, you can realize for yourself so the market size for dent is quite huge and eSIM is is going to be quite popular as well so right now the first eSIM phone came in uh, came out in 2018 and since then there are roughly around 750 million eSIM phones globally and this number is potentially going to expand as well so so basically in 3 years time the the total number of devices has gone all the way up to 750 million eSIM phones so imagine in another 3 years let's say by 2024 uh, that's going to be quite a lot of uh, phones out in the market with eSIM uh, facility so what i'm saying is that eSIM offering is going to grow in the future it's not going to go down uh, by any means and the global data consumption is not looking to go down either so it's pretty uh, good and there the, the point that there is no competitors for dent is uh, makes it more attractive as well so yep wish you uh, thanks for watching and have a good day